So everyone knows about the situation of the pink sauce. When about a year ago, there was this trend of like a brand new sauce that was all right. And the ingredients were messed up. The packaging was horrible. When people got the packaging, you know, it like it spilled sometimes. The packaging for this sauce was kind of like me ordering something off of Amazon. Like I just ordered a brand new mouse and just came into like a box. And like it wasn't like refrigerated in any way, shape or form. And the countless and countless videos that we saw on the internet of people like getting the sauce and it came out horribly. And then the famous interview that she did. Right, I think everyone has seen that interview at least once. About a while ago, I covered how she started a GoFundMe because essentially she was going homeless and had to like, you know, move into different Airbnbs and, you know, live off of $20 a day just to get by. Now, when I covered this at the time, I believe the GoFundMe had like around $300. I'm not sure. But from what I've been able to find, she raised 25 bands, 25 Gs, 25K. I'm saying it in three different ways. So you know how much money she made off of this GoFundMe page. And the reason for the GoFundMe was because you know she was getting partial payments and it just wasn't enough and you know, all this other stuff and now recently about two weeks ago now she dropped this update video of what she's been and what she's been doing so we're gonna watch this video today ladies and gentlemen before we watch though like and sub do all the good stuff and uh, yeah without further ado let's watch the video what is up y'all it's your girl chef C, and i am back with another video okay so i know y'all wondering like where the hell is she what does she have going on is she homeless What's going on with my contract? I know I've been quiet for a minute, but I've literally been taking a sabbatical just to get my mind together. And already off rip, she's not beating the homeless allegations because first of all, look at where she's living in like the echo. Usually in a big house, if you've ever just chilled in a big house or like your friends just had a massive house growing up, there's a massive ass echo, you know what I'm saying? Like as a kid, I remember my homie had a massive ass house and he had a hallway and stuff and it would mad echoey. So what I did, I would just be screaming some shit. You just hear the echo go crazy. Like I was echo echo like it was Ben 10. And also, if you don't know what a sabbatical is, I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but essentially it's where, according to Google, a period of paid leave granted to a university teacher or other worker for study or travel, traditionally one year for every seven years work. And unfortunately, a lot of people can't do that. A lot of people live paycheck to paycheck. They live barely above the poverty line. I'm back now. I missed y'all so, 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 so much. Thank you to all of the people who sent me kind words and motivation. Thank you also for the donations. They have helped tremendously, guys. But it, they were partial payments. And then also a huge chunk of that money went towards me paying for airbnb and paying for hotels because mind y'all i was homeless for six months you'd think that's the first thing she would mention in her video whereas to like saying thank you to the people that donated 25 bands bro it really makes me wonder how much money she was spending on airbnbs i know in some places airbnbs are expensive but there are cheap ones out there if you really look hard enough so let's say in this hypothetical you make like eighty thousand a year right and like your monthly rent is like 2200 a month a lot of people can pay that by the end of the month you know what i'm saying even though rent i believe has gone expensive a lot nowadays but still how much money are you spending to where like you can't even pay like rent for these airbnbs and also makes me wonder, why are you, like, choosing these expensive Airbnbs? I know you want to live, like, lavish and nice. I get that, right? But, like, if you're just trying to find a stable and comfortable home, wouldn't you find one that you can, like, reasonably afford? Following this, in which I kept having a security issue because I was promised that I would receive legal help for people spreading false narratives about the pink sauce. However that never happened i don't know what false narrative she's referring to but essentially your packaging for the sauce was horrible it was an amazon package essentially a lot of people when they got the package for the first time was already spilled uh other people had a different color from the original sauce you were promoting to once they got the package as well and also her sauce wasn't even fda approved as well so there's that now also um people speculating about me getting my body done me getting my body done would not make me broke. And this ass came from uni. This is my ass. And who makes a financial decision that would make them broke? Where did this point even come from, bro? Why is she... Yo, fake booty allegations just came out of nowhere, bro. Like, what the hell? 
the most irrelevant point out of the entire of the video. I hear mentioning, yo, yeah, this booty is mine. It's all natural type shit. Like, whoa, what? Who the fuck has, bro? Yo, what the hell? They know the proof and the truth and what I have on this phone. So as a reporter for the WDRCK, I just have a quick question. Uh, who the fuck is they? Who is they? Who are the one who knocks, bro? Because I don't know. She's not specifying. She just yapping for about like two minutes at this point. She out here, the doctor yaponomics, bro. This shit is crazy. I, I think we're done here, ladies and gentlemen, because she just yapping at this point, man. Gee.